Hello everyone. Welcome to Grace Hollow Rabbitry. I'm PJ and here in Northwest Arkansas I run an Arba registered rabbitry. I raise New Zealand rabbits in black, blue, and broken. And I also have silver fox in blue and broken. Uh, anyway, today I've weaned a whole bunch of New Zealand babies and so I wanted to go through and show you what we have. Okay, here in the first cage we have uh, three does. We have the two broken and the one black. Uh, the broken blue uh, is almost a Charlie. Um, we'll have to grow her up and breed her and find out, but she looks to be a Charlie. And then we have the broken black. Both of those are out of Alex, who is a registered uh, broken blue buck. And then uh, Possum Grape, who is a registered Grand Champion, uh, Broken Black Doe. And then the little rambunctious black doe back here, very promising doe, I like this doe, uh, is out of Gaylor, uh, who is a registered Broken Blue Doe. And Dave, who is a registered Black Buck. In our second cage here, we have four bucks. Uh, they're all broken. You, you can see three. There's another one hiding right here under the feeder has its ear blocking your view from its face there we go a little broken blue there a nice looking guy we've got two broken blue bucks and two broken black bucks and they are both out of um, Keo who is a Charlie Black Doe and Kirby who is a blue buck uh, these guys so far look pretty promising um, Unfortunately, Keo is on the small side, and so is Kirby. Uh, so I'm going to have to watch these guys, and hopefully they'll meet weight. Hopefully they don't turn out small. But so far, um, boy, they're growing like weeds. they got good uh, weights on them at this age. So hopefully that's a good sign. Um, the third cage, we have three broken. we got one broken blue back there and the two broken black. Uh, these guys, uh, ladies, these ladies are out of uh, Keo and Kirby. And then the little uh, blue doe back there uh, hiding is out of Gaylor and Dave. And then here, here in cage four, we have um, two blue here in the corner. And then that broken blue right here saying hello. Uh, these three are out of Gaylor and Dave. And then the one in the corner back there, uh, the Charlie Black Buck. Uh, these are bucks, by the way. Uh, the little Charlie uh, Black one right there is out of Possum Grape and Alex. Here in our last cage, uh, we have four does. Um, these are out of Gaylor and Dave. And you know, Gaylor and Dave had the most perfect litter. Um, Gaylor kindled nine. She weaned nine. She had three black, which happened to be all three black does. And then she had three broken. Uh, she had two broken does and one broken buck. And then she had three blue. Uh, one blue doe and two blue bucks. So she ended up with uh, three bucks, one blue, one black, one broken. And then she ended up with uh, six those, uh, three of those were black, uh, two broken and one blue. All right, in here I have something new going on. Uh, this is a temporary situation. I'm going to build um, a system for my calls. Um, these are the ones that's going to be grown out uh, for meat. Uh, they all have DQs for one reason or another and cannot be shown and would not um, make good show breeders. Now these guys can be bred and make awesome meat babies, but uh, you wouldn't want to put them in a breeding program if you plan to these raise my grow any out. show bunnies. I ended up with um, quite a few uh, that had a lot of DQs, and of course there's two in here that, man, I really wished um, weren't DQs because they are fabulous, but Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at those. Okay, now we're going to look at these guys from the top. 
which you're not going to see a whole lot this way. Um, there's a broken doe right here. She's out of Shawnee and um, Rocky or Y. I think maybe Y. Anyway, one of those two boys. She's a broken still, but man, is she beautiful and she's got a gorgeous body type. Um, and then uh, these other does, they look black through the wire, uh, but they're actually go tip stills. Um, and they, man, they love this huge, huge, huge cage. They're uh, having so much fun. I mean, they were in with mom and uh, all these guys, you know. Uh, most of these came out of um, Blackie, who had uh, six, and so it was mom and the six babies all in one cage. And so they're really getting to stretch their legs out, and they're really having a good time. Uh, so anyway, and the other one I really like is a buck. Um, well, I'll show you the other one. Okay, here in the second cage is more does uh, and all of these came out of Lynn um, man I'm really sad about this litter because it was really hopeful uh, she ended up having three stills uh, two of those were a box and one was a still doe uh, but um, she ended up with six six black does and every one of these, with the exception of one, has either a white spot on the upper lip, which three of these had white spots on the upper lip, and then two of these uh, had white on the feet. Um, now some of these had a white spot on the lip and white feet, and uh, one of them had white feet and... Uh, I want to say white toenails, but I'm, I'm, I'm not going to call them white. But they definitely were not black. The hind legs had black toenails, but the front legs had a light color, um, almost white. It, real, real, real pale. And a black rabbit should have black toenails. And then there was one. She didn't have any white on her. Uh, she was all solid black. But she is, uh, you can see her here in the corner she's almost a third the size of these other ones I mean she's just real tiny uh, she did come out of a litter of 10 uh, so um, you know <laughs> there's only eight place settings at the table and there was 10 10 dinner guests so you know someone is gonna lose out on dinner and I think it was her more often than not uh, but anyway she's very tiny and it's a good chance she could go ahead now that she's, you know, in a much bigger cage and will have much more food at the dinner table because she's got a huge feeder that I can, you know, feed them unlimited now. Um, she could possibly uh, catch up in size, but uh, for now I put her uh, These guys are on risers. They're not on the ground. They're about uh, six inches off. Or maybe four inches. They're four inches off the ground. And <coughs> two of these came from Blackie. Three of them came from Lynn. And then one came out of um, Shawnee and Y. And you can tell the difference in all of these this guy right back here look how big he is now these are all the same age and he he's huge compared to these other five and um look at that body uh, i know i'm looking at the wire but look at that body on that guy very muscular very well built i just love that guy uh, but i just don't have a purpose for a gold tip still other than producing meat and you know you when you're raising show rabbits not all of them are showable so I get plenty of meat rabbits from my show show stock so you know I just don't need to keep a gold tip still but this guy and his broken sister over there 
uh, probably have the best body types out of all the rabbits that I, I weaned today. Those two are my favorites. And you know, last time uh, my two favorites were, you know, calls. So uh, they were stills. And okay, open. guys, uh, that's it for today. Uh, I weaned a total of 37 rabbits. Uh, we had, this is odd, this doesn't happen very often. Uh, uh, out of those 37, we had 23 does and 14 bucks. So that was a pretty good uh, buck to doe, uh, doe to buck ratio. I like that, 23, 14, that was good. Now we ended up calling uh, right at half, uh, we kept 18, or we kept 19, and we called 18. Now later on, as they develop, um, we're going to go through them again here when they're they're eight weeks old now. So when they're 10, 11, maybe 12 weeks old, we're going to go through uh, that again and probably knock that down to half again. Um, we want only the so best. So there we have it, guys. Uh, that's how this round of bunnies come. Um, I've got the new grow out system. Uh, I needed to get those separated uh, so that Daddy J knew which ones were his and I knew which one was mine. Actually, now, um, I just recently, because Daddy J has been working so much, um, I've had to uh, acquire a call guy. Um, and I was lucky enough, one of my neighbors down the road will now call my rabbits for me on halves. He, he does the work. Uh, I raise them. And then he'll do uh, the calling and the processing, and then I get half and he gets half, and it's it's been working out great. Uh, we went through uh, 12 this week, and we did it on halves, and so that's working out for me. So that's it. Uh, we've got the new um, grow-out system for the calls, which is going to work really good, I think. Uh, this is only temporary until I build something higher off the ground. Uh, but they are in the old dog kennel, and so they are uh, behind fence. Uh, my only concern is, since they're only four inches off the ground, I'm worried about snakes getting in there. Um, but it's temporary. I hope to have something different built, uh, and it's going to be a four-cage system. Uh, I hope to have that built all um, in the next couple of weeks. So uh, anyway, I'm going to leave some links down the below. One's going to be... Uh, to my fan page, uh, so you're going to want to check that out. Uh, watch these babies grow and see their pictures and other little daily comments and stuff on the fan page. There's one uh, link to my personal Facebook page in case you would like to contact me with any questions or uh, concerns. And then one is to my web page, which will have my show blog and my show schedule. So be sure to check out those three links. Thanks for watching, and until we speak again, God bless.